there kids, it's me Miss Booksy here at Cool School. Are you ready for story time? Today let's continue with The Little Mermaid Chapter 7. At the end of Chapter 6, we had just found out that Prince Jeff was going to marry some princess named Esmeralda. <sighs> so much for The Little Mermaid's plan. Let's see what happens next. The Little Mermaid was very upset. I mean, wouldn't you be if you thought you might turn into a sea urchin? You remember the deal with the sea witch? Well, let me remind you. Flashback time. Let's review. You'll be a human, but if you can't make the prince fall in love with you, then you'll turn into a sea urchin, and I'll have your voice forever. Deal? Deal. How was I supposed to know that Prince Jeff was already getting hitched? What am I going to do? While the Little Mermaid was busy thinking, her dad, the Sea King, was busy coming up with a plan for her rescue. I'll just swim up there and... No, that won't work. Can't swim on land. Nope. Okay, I'll send all the sea turtles and crabs up there and demand she come home. They can walk. She'll just refuse to come. Wait, I know. I'll send all the seagulls to fly into the palace and pick her up and carry her home. But didn't the sea witch say she has to stay or else she'll turn into a sea urchin? Right, the sea witch. I'll just make a new deal with the sea witch. No, never negotiate with witches. But off they went to make a deal with the evil sea witch. Back on land, the Little Mermaid had come up with a very good plan. Okay, this is such a good idea, you guys. I'll just act like a mermaid, then the prince will totally recognize me. Then he'll want to marry me and not this princess Esmeralda. So obvious. The Little Mermaid was sure this plan would work and soon she and Prince Jeff would be in true L-O-V-E. That spells love, by the way. <laughs> Meanwhile, I told you the spell has been cast. Nothing I can do. What if you could have my palace? Say what now? You send me to land as a human. And if I can't get my daughter back, you win. You get my kingdom. Now that's interesting. Wait, your majesty, the mermaid really, really, really likes the prince. What if she doesn't want to come back with you? Well, you'll have to help me convince her. Me? Uh, and what happens to us if we fail? If you fail, you turn into a jellyfish, and I will have everything. And if we succeed? You won't. <laughs> but if you do, I'll swim away to another ocean and never set a tentacle in your kingdom again. What's the catch? The catch is you can't tell her why you're there. The only choice is to make her fall out of love with the prince. Do we have a deal? Okay, let's review the pros and cons here. It's a deal. Oy vey. It's finally time for the royal ball. Okay, just act like a mermaid. But it turned out that acting like a mermaid was a lot harder than she expected. Apart from her doing swimming dance moves, she was at a total loss. Here ye, here ye, please make way for the lovely Princess Esmeralda. Whoa, we have legs, this is cool. I don't like it, these are feet. They're totally weird. They're not so bad. Look, I can jump. Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay, okay, enough nonsense. Let's go find my daughter. Meanwhile, back at the ball, the Little Mermaid had gotten a chance to meet Esmeralda and... Guys, Princess Esmeralda was totally cool. She was funny and pretty and smart and totally a good dancer. She even did this really funny trick where she pretended to find a coin behind my ear. I'm telling you, she was the best. Surely Prince Jeff must be totally head over heels in love with her. But Jeff just stared out at sea, looking for his mermaid. Oh yeah, my plan. He just needs to see me in my natural habitat. Girl overboard! <coughs> All right, I forgot that swimming with human legs is kinda tricky. Help, help, she's drowning. I'll save her. I've got you. Not the romantic rescue I was expecting. When the two made it safely to shore, everyone cheered. Yeah! Yay, great job. You swim like a natural, like a dolphin. Thanks, I'm Princess Esmeralda. Who are you? Uh, I'm Prince, uh, Dolphrey. Dolphrey? Yep, Prince Dolphrey. And this is my uncle, the King of Sea Town. Anyway, lovely to meet you, Princess. 
Everyone was very happy to welcome the royal travelers. Everyone except for the Little Mermaid. That is totally Dolph and my dad. Who invited them? Oh wow, let's go see what happens in chapter eight. Click right here to come with me. 